Good evening, Westport Wildcats. Welcome back to another presentation of Westport Varsity Boys Basketball. Tonight, the Wildcats are in the state tournament. Tonight, they will be facing the 13 and seven Ayer Shirley Panthers. Now, Ayer Shirley coming into this matchup survived the first rounds of the tournament, beating, beating their opponent 77 to 44 and a dominating win. So Wildcats are gonna have some work tonight. Luckily, however, a very healthy team and a very hyped up team going into tonight. They finished the season off at a loss against East Bridgewater. And they're looking to change that and hopefully that that didn't affect their momentum going into the state tournament. Play will begin underway in a, any moment now.
Big game for the Wildcats tonight. Westport, they've had their ups and downs this season, but looking to make them all worthwhile tonight. Student section has showed up. It's such a booming environment here. It's hard to see that Westport doesn't start out on a strong foot, but the starting lineup for the Westport Wildcats tonight. Double zero, Max Marotti. Number one, Hunter Broder. Number two, Ben Boudria. Number four, Owen Boudria. And number 10, Cam Leary. We're off. Westport able to get two touches on the ball, but Shirley has it first. Iana Cohn loses control. Westport able to take it down and get their first points on the board tonight. Two nothing Wildcats. Hunter Broder already. Did a 360 there. Takes it back for the Wildcats now. Can't get a hand on it. Holmes has an open shot and rolls off. Leary with the open playing field, couldn't hit it. Westport trying to press, and they get it. Jump ball goes to the Wildcats. 6.56 left on the clock so far in this first quarter. Owen oh, Boudreau wide open under the rim. 4-0 Westport now. Ayers Shirley can't get inside. Now the Panthers, Brian Holmes trying to get in but loses control. The Wildcats have it again with a timeout. Westport already has been an explosive team on offense and defense. They've been just running down the Panthers, cutting them off. Any opportunity Shirley has has been completely blocked off to try to get in the paint or anywhere inside the perimeter. Now, the Panthers on the road so far this season have been decent. They are four and five on the road, but not a strong start here in Westport. Boudreaux brothers working on the inside. Rolls off the front. Rege Manchester rejected. Marshall fell down under the rim, looked for a call, and just goes against him. 
Owen Budria goes to the line. 6.03 left, 4 nothing. look to add. First one has no trouble going in. Pinballs around, can't land the second. Westport up 5 nothing. Zachary Inacone, the sophomore for Air Shirley. First points on the night for the Panthers. Ben Boudry now. Trifecta from dead on. 8-2. 5.23 left on the clock. Inacone again. Ben Boudria. Rejects Holmes. He's not letting him have any of that. Hunter Broder with his first of the night. Westport extends the lead to eight. Took some muscle work, but Holmes finds his way. 4-10. Ten four. Takes it right back for two more. Four tonight so far. Call against Air Shirley. Four thirty one left on the clock. Westport's eight point lead cut down to four now. Gonna keep it though, as Boudria surveys the floor. Broder's gonna take it in. Loses control, but it's able to get back out. Now Brian Holmes, can he get control? With the pass to Inicone. It's a one possession game. Ejected from Broder's hands. Ayer Shirley's defense has now started to press Westport inside the perimeter, leading to a couple ejections now. Hunter Broder able to overcome that now, 12-8. Owen Boudrius steals it and is able to keep it in bounds. Hunter Broder, six tonight now. Another timeout taken. Westport is roaring tonight. When Westport has started out down in their regular season games this season, it's been hard for them to come back. So it's good now, especially in this playoff game, that they have a comfortable six point lead and it seems like they can maintain that. It'll be interesting to see tonight if Coach Boudria makes more substitutions or just keep most of his starting lineup in. Yeah. 
reach in on called on Owen Boudria. Still Panthers ball. Bobby Holmes, Brian Holmes loses control. Now same there for Westport. Ball has been very loose around the court tonight, but Tommy Bergen able to snag the and one and go to the line to make it a three point play. 14-10, could be 11. 3.12 left on the clock. Great save by Owen Boudria to keep it inbounds. Shot no good for the Panthers. Westport able to stay up by two possessions. Max Marotti looking for his first tonight. No good. And Boudreaux's shot rolls off too. No call that time. 14-12 now. It seems Hunter Broder's in trouble. A lot of coverage on him tonight. But Ben Boudreaux hits his second from beyond the arc. Make it a five point game. Ben Boudria already a six tonight. And that's six for Bergen. Points stacking up for him. He's been on a tear in this past minute. And now the call against the Wildcats. Not at a good time for Westport up by only three. One shot from Ayers Shirley ties this up. Another call to the Panthers. And Bobby Manchester evens the score. And we're all tied up. 17-17 with under two minutes left. Boudreaux's shot comes up short. Still a wildcat ball. He has it again. Third time. Not a charm for the Wildcats. Udria, Broder, Marathi. None could land that. They're going to need to recover from that and just shake that off when that ball comes around in their hands again. Coltrane McGonigal comes in for Ben Budria. And now the and one. Sorry. Let's call this. Called against Air Shirley. Westport kept the ball. One oh five left. Still tied up. And the charge called on Owen Butria. So he will go to the bench. He already has two tonight. We're not even out of the first half. So Anthony Raposa, number 44, comes in for the Wildcats. Westport immediately noticing they're not pressing as much. And giving the Panthers more time to get out of the backcourt. The draw is broken by Inacone, as he hits the jumper. 
19 to 17. 44 seconds left on the clock. Westport started out with a bang. But they're sizzling down now. Need to get back that momentum that they had. Westport student section, gotta give them a lot of credit. They've been on their feet the entire night so far. And it's Jersey night here in Westport. So, see some sporting some team pride. Interesting to know, nothing so far for Max Marotti tonight. He's fought for a few, just haven't hit him. Leary loses control. And the call against the Panthers. Marshall tried to huck it down there. This is he took one too many steps there. 28 seconds left. <laughs> Looks like some contact there on the floor. No call though. It's ejected again by the Panthers. Inacone had another on the line. As the first quarter ends, Westport finds themselves down by two, 19 to 17. It has been rough for ball handling for both of these teams tonight. There's been quite a few turnovers Haven't been coming at the best time for Westport tonight. Now, Westport cheerleaders come out. Not their first performance tonight, but definitely at the break. Great way to keep the crowd's energy up. Now, just a couple things to mention before play continues. Tomorrow night, the girls varsity Lady Wildcats will host their first playoff game. Their playoff game, the first round of the state tournament there. They're a sixth seed in the state tournament. And play here tonight. So tune in to see that tomorrow night at 6.30. And I'd like to give a shout out to Westport Community TV. We wouldn't be able to film these games and broadcast them without them, so big thanks to them. Back for more action in the second quarter. The Panthers have it first. Quickly lose it. So once again, Inacone could not get control of the ball. In and out. Ben Boudria back in. And he's been playing his part so far. Coach Boudria took him out for the rest of that first quarter. Definitely trying to save his energy. He's been such a crucial defensive player. 
That timeout taken by Boudria. Try to save the ball there. Westport has been quiet past two minutes of play. Want to get something on the board. Tie it up. They're still down by two. Roddy searches, but it falls into the hands of Inacone. Way out. Rockets off the fingers of Minicone. Stays with the Panthers. Now Manchester from wide open. Shot no good. Ball still open on the hardwood. Shirley takes advantage. O'Brien Holmes on the charge. Call against Holmes. His second foul of the game. And it was quite similar to the first. He needs to be careful of that. Working out well for the Wildcats though. Gonna get the ball back quicker than they expected. Almost up and in for Ax Marathi. Great footwork by Ben Boudria. Just loses control of the ball as it hits the glass. Still 19 to 17, 550 left. Ayers Shirley makes it a four point game now. 21-17. Broder fires one, comes up short. After a knock off the rim. Holmes' shot was rejected. The Panthers tried to stick with it. Shot can't land. Now the amount of noise from both these crowds tonight. Ben Boudreaux. Sandwich there. Subs coming in. Owen Bujara and Cam Leary back in the game for the Wildcats. And Broder and Marathi come out. Bujara searches. And in a heap of Panthers, he finds Cam Leary, who knocks down two to make it a one possession game. 
4.50 left in the first half. Tommy Bergen is gonna fight his way to the rim there. It's two more from off the glass. There's Shirley, leads by four. Now another call against Air Shirley. Panthers keep fouling Olin Boudry. Not working out well for them. Westport able to take advantage. Westport can't hit it. Fights his way, and again, he's been such a big playmaker for the Panthers tonight. Westport needs to put more coverage on him. They want to stop him from under the rim. Owen Boudreau with the jumper off the front of the rim. 3.35 left. And Ayer Shirley has a six point lead, 25 to 19, with the air ball. Own Boudreau, sorry, Ben Boudreau. Changes gears. Slow play down. Own Boudreau had a shot, he's gonna take it in instead. Just rolls off. His brother stuck with it. Now the ball is loose again. Neither team seems to get control. So Ben Boudria with some teamwork with Anthony Raposa and Cam Leary able to take it in for a Wildcat ball and score. 25-21, in and out. Boudria to crash the boards there. Right on top of that shot coming down. McGonagall from the corner again. And it's ejected. Bergen has it. And McGonagall denies it. And now Michael Bashara's shot comes in. He comes in for his first few minutes this game. His shot, no good. Anthony Raposa from downtown. A lot of missed perimeter shots from both these teams. It's not stopping them though. 129 left. And Owen Boudreau fouled while driving in. Big possession for the Wildcats. They're able to add to the score. They make it a one possession game. And it is an important possession. Not too much time left in the half. As Owen Boudreau goes to the line, 4-2. Sinks the first, no problem. Broder and Marathi come back in for the Wildcats. Now Boudreau. He's one for two tonight. Now two for three. Three for four. On the free throw line tonight. Free throw line tonight. One possession game. 
Ayers surely loses control, and it's a Westport ball. Ben Boudria able to get out of trouble. Shot up short. As Westport sticks with it. And now Ben Boudria from deep. It's gonna be a dog fight for the ball. The call for Westport. Under a minute left in the first half. Westport with the chance to tie it up now. Oh, and Ben Boudria at the helm. Been such a crucial piece of the offense tonight. And rolls off the side. Takes it down and it's rejected. Double effort there by Owen Boudria and Max Marotti. Holmes fires, makes a splash from downtown, and puts the Panthers up by five. Shot clock turns off. There's 15 seconds left in the game. As Westport resorting to just running down the clock, looks like that. Last minute, Hunter Broder muscling his way in. Now the call on the Panthers. Five seconds left. Hunter Broder, some last minute shots. Now, pretty big to hit the first one. It will land. Now the second year, even if it doesn't go in, First try, you have two of the, some of the best rebounders on the team, Max Marani and Cam Leary there to help them out. They're able to put it back up. They'll cut that lead down a lot more. Two seconds left. Enicone had an open field there. Open court, I should say more, but the score, 28 to 24 at the half. Westport down by four, but they went out of that first half swinging. Now, one thing to work on for Westport, stopping players like Tommy Bergen and Zach Inicone uh, inside the perimeter. They've just been big guys for the Panthers tonight. But Ben Budria, Definitely pulling his weight on the team tonight. He's done an outstanding job on both e offense and running right back down the court to defense. And he's been zigzagging all over the place tonight. Well, back after the half with some more Westport basketball action.
Back after the half, when we left off, Westport Wildcats were down 28 to 24. Now, coming back out after the half, looking pumped, and they look focused, ready to take back charge of this game. However, the Ayers Shirley Panthers will have the ball first. Owen Boudreau leads the team in scoring and is actually tied with Hunter Broder. Both have seven so far tonight. Owen Boudry, or Ben Boudry has six. Cam Leary has four. To start the half with a bang, Panthers knock down a three. 31 to 24. Now off the leg of Holmes. Tommy Bergen, look out for him in this second half. He has 10 so far tonight. Max Marotti for three. Sinks that one, no problem. It's back to a two possession game. Westport needed a shot like that. Great job by Max Marotti. His first points of the night. And Nicone coughs it up right as he's going up for the rim. Now the travel called against Hunter Broder. Fired, rejected. Couple tips in the air. Own Boudria takes it for the Wildcats. No problem for Cam Leary. Drives right in, 4-2. Air Shirley up by only two now. And a 6.20 left in the third quarter. No good. Westport has it again and with a chance to tie. With the charging call against Hunter Broder. Weak call, but it still stands. Now he's fighting to get it back the ball. And another call. Westport is not happy with that. The ball will go to the Wildcats. Refs will discuss that last play there. Took a quick minute. And it will, they reverse the call. And it goes to the Air Shirley Panthers. Bergen muscles his way in. Can't find the rim. Leary to tie. Gets it. 31 31. 542 left in the third quarter. Now, Manchester lost control of the ball again. And Westport starting to take back control on the offensive side of this ball game.
close one, rolls off. Manchester fires and hits a trifecta from the corner. Panthers take the lead, 34 to 31. Holmes goes down again, but Hunter Broder responds with an absolute dart. And we once again have a tie game. 34-34 as Owen Pudria now trying to take it coast to coast. Lays it in gently. And timeout. Coach Kilpatrick for the Panthers takes a timeout. Westport on a fire. They're up by two, got 4-10 left in this third quarter. Westport's been able to turn the offense around. Can they keep up this momentum? It's hard to beat at this moment. Excellent job by the cheerleaders. Again, keeping that crowd's hype up. Same for the pep band too. What a great environment in Westport here tonight. As the Wildcats are right back out and ready for some more. Westport pressing in the backcourt. Manchester's able to find his way out. Now Tommy Bergen wide open under the rim. 36-36. All tied up again. Max Marotti looking and hits two. He has five tonight now. Nobody on Holmes. It's off the side. Owen Boudreaux sticks with it. Great footwork by Hunter Broder. Owen Boudreaux is now wide open from the top of the key. And rolls out. And it's Panthers ball. Westport up by two. In a cone. Knocks two from off the glass. 38-38. 2.52 left. The third quarter. Hunter Broder. Great ball handling there. Just took it right around the Panthers. Westport once again on a breakaway. Call on Cam Leary. 40 to 38. Westport takes back that two point lead. But they're having a tough time keeping it there. Leary almost gets a hand on it. Westport trying to put the brakes on 
the Panthers offense. Marshall goes down, hard to tell who that call was on. Touched at least three defenders on his way down. Call will go against Cam Leary. That's his first of the game. As Marshall goes for it. Knocks down the first. It's now a one point game. Now looks for the second. It's off the iron. So Westport will stay up by one. And now, call against Air Shirley. Westport has it. Elbow call there on Westport. That one on Ben Boudria. He has three fouls this game. Still a lot of basketball left, so Westport definitely not in a comfortable position there. Oh, and Boudreau slaps the ball and takes it down. And in for two. Westport makes it a two possession game. 42-39. Crowd is wild. And a cone rejected by Owen Boudria. Back to back big plays there by number four. And a cone goes to the line. Westport student section all riled up now. And a cone, however, sinks the first one. Now, here Shirley. Down by only two. Now, Panthers there thought the ball was theirs when it went out. But it's not. It stays a Westport ball. Broder loses control, but he takes it back. Overshot. Cam Marshall ties up the game now. 42-40. One twenty left in the third. Max Murati overshot, tips. Stays with Westport. Scary there for a second. The Wildcats thought they lost control. And now Holmes is roughed up. Still. Ben Boudreau and Coltrane McGonigal not making it easy for Holmes. They've been on him this whole game. Ben Boudreau will go to the bench though. He has four fouls. Marshall taking it in. Fires a short one. Can't hit it. Now under a minute left in the third. Westport with the chance to break the draw. How about Owen Boudria? Puts Westport back up by two, 44 to 42. Home shot comes up short, but it's recovered by Inacone. Both of these crowds fired up now. And this has become a shootout between these two teams. As the clock winds down, there's five seconds left. 
and the call against the Panthers. Westport is going to have four seconds to take the lead before the last eight minutes of play. Unbudri has a pathway, comes up short, and it will stay tied 44 44 going into the third quarter. This is an overall great offensive performance by both of these teams. What we're witnessing right now, both these teams fighting for their lives in the Massachusetts State Tournament. It's whatever it takes in a game like this. Cheerleaders sporting their pride for Jersey night. This last quarter of play is definitely going to be rough and tumble here. Ayer Shirley and Westport making it hard for each other to get easy points now. It takes everything to get on the board. Or it has taken everything to get on the board. Westport gets it to start the fourth quarter. It's ushered around the perimeter. Broder tried to take it in again. It's ejected and fights back. Call against Broder there. Panthers have it. Broder able to pickpocket on the breakaway again. Try to direct it to McGonagall. Just a little late. Bergen for two more. 46 to 44. On Boudreaux wide open. It comes up short, but Holmes chases it down. Owen oh, Boudreaux sticks with it with some help there by teammate Max Marotti. Tied 46-46. 6.53 left, and that pass was out of here. A lot more calls against Westport in the second half. They have six. Ayer Shirley with only two. Max Marotti, 4-3. Gets it. He hit one from there not too long ago. And now Westport up by three. Can't even recall how many times now we've seen one of the Ayer Shirley or Westport players crumble to the floor. It's been that kind of defensive game too. Max Moratti, so close, just couldn't grab it in time. Westport continuing to press in the backcourt. And a lot of coverage there on Bergen. He's able to get it anyway. Westport up by one. A 
Hunter Broder at the helm. Panthers haven't put as much pressure on Westport in the backcourt in this second half. More, it's all in the paint. Paul on air, Shirley. Coltrane McGonagall goes to the line. Five forty-seven left in the game. Coaching McGonagall makes it a two-point game. Can he make it three? Coltrane McGonagall knocks down Bolt. Westport up, 51-48. Bergen loses control. Good job by Westport there. I saw Bergen was trying to charge, muscle his way through. Decide just the best option there was to take the ball out. Holmes from dead on, off the side. Sticks there, Shirley. Comes up short again. Tommy Bergen, two more from off the glass. Seems always in these crucial moments, the Panthers resort to him. Westport up by one, as Owen Boudria fires one from deep, rockets off. And it's recollected by Holmes, who loses it. Chaos on the court now. Back and forth there. Both teams losing control. And now the call against Max Marotti. Holmes goes to the line, looking to possibly tie or take the lead in the game. Hits it, ties the game. And looks for the second. Panthers take the lead. There's been six lead changes. in this half, in this last quarter. Westport loses the ball. Holmes, shot only kisses the rim on its way down. And another call against Westport. This time, Marshall has it. Boudreaux is able to steal it. Broder overshoots. 420 left in the game. Leary tries to reject it. Bergen puts the Panthers up by three. 54, 51. Westport cannot hit these shots in the paint. Having a very hard time. Anthony Raposa comes in for Poultry and McGonagall. Finally, a call to the Wildcats. And Marathi to inbound. Lays in two. Westport down by only one now. 3.32 left in the game. Holmes 
It's a roundabout there. The shot rolls off. Westport has a chance to take the lead. Ben Boudria coming back into the game. It's called out on Westport. Bergen overshoots. Hunter Broder takes control just in the nick of time. And puts the Westport Wildcats up by one. 55 to 54. Inacone goes to the line. He hasn't been here in a little bit. Point's gonna matter this late in the game though. We got 250 left on the clock. It's just been back and forth. Something tells me that this might come down to the wire. And Cone searches for the first. And only. And now the call. Air Shirley loses control. It's a Westport ball. They have the chance here to make it a two possession game. If they can get out of the backcourt. Hunter Broder, 4-3. Rolls in and out. Westport can't get control before it leaves the hardwood. The Panthers have it back. Westport on top of everyone right now. And the travel call. Back to Westport ball. 2.20 left on the clock. Timeout called. Smart move there by Coach Boudria. Can't afford to turn over the ball again when you don't have exactly a comfortable lead on the clock. And Marshall was trying to force Raposa out of the court. Not the first time this game. Quite a win it will be for whoever comes out on top. Still quite a lot of basketball left though. Two minutes can mean everything when you have this close of a game. So Raposa will take the inbound. Owen oh, Boudria, midair. And Air Shirley loses the ball as Westport takes the three point lead. Wildcats up 57 54 as we're now under two minutes left to play. Now, 
Marshall putting too much pressure there on Boudria. His third foul of the game. And Boudria. Smooth moves there. Another call against the Panthers. This one on Bergen. Owen Boudria goes to the line. He's three for four on the line tonight. Westport up by three. First one goes off the iron. Still chance to hit the second. Make it a two possession game. Oh, and Boudria makes a splash. Second time around. Holmes' shot rolls off and is quickly recovered by Hunter Broder. And the call. Ball. Marshall was looking for a call there. He's not going to get it. 118 left. Westport up by four. And now it's Broder's turn from the free throw line. Free throw line. One for two from the free throw tonight. Hits the first. Five point game. Now, fires the second. Just off the front. Still, the Wildcats up by five. Bergen has it. Max Marotti has his number though. Rejects him. Now under a minute left to play. The reach in on Marshall. He has four. A five now. Owen Boudreau back to the line. Can he add to what is now a comfortable lead? But after the timeout, called last minute there, 47 seconds left in this game. Boy, has it been a nail biter. Still not over yet. Anything could happen. Well, a lot of the fouls early on in the third quarter went to Westport. A lot were stacking up against players such as Coulter and McGonagall and Hunter Broder. Now it seems the tables have turned for Air Shirley as Cam Marshall. Fouls out, he has five. Not be able to stick with his team for the rest of this game. You're Westport though. You know Ayers surely can shoot. That's why they can put up maybe a late three, make this back to a two point, one point game. So these free throws are gonna matter. Boudria looks for number one. 
It's no good. Takes it right back, though. Sticks with the Wildcats. Back for number two. Knocks down the second. He's gonna get the third though. Balls around, finds its way in. Seven point lead for Westport. A call against Hunter Broder. Be a push call, 38 seconds. Now number 14, Bobby Manchester goes to the line. First one, knocked off the side. That's the only one he'll get. Owen Boot, I'm sorry. Hunter Broder, that alleyway was all clogged up now with Panthers. Cam Leary to the line. Westport crowd getting all riled out, but their team is up by eight now, 62-54. There's under 30 seconds left in this game. Leary can't hit the second though, unless it goes right off the front. Shot clock is off. Brian Holmes, he's gonna hit a late one from dead on. Five-point game and the timeout. All Westport needs to do is hold on or go to the line, which is likely what Ayer Shirley, Shirley is going to let him do, probably foul late. And try to hit more shots like that. Possibly the last time. The cheerleaders come out this game. Both them and the pet band done an outstanding job keeping this crowd hyped. And what has just been a roller coaster of a game. Back after the timeout. No one down court for the Wildcats. And now in the Hail Mary. That one. Overshot. And now Air Shirley won't have to take it all the way back. Still in it. Brian Holmes, his shot's taken right out of the air by Cam Leary. Hunter Broder has it, trying to wind down the clock. And here, Poza, fouled. Five seconds left, Westport up by five. And Anthony Raposa could bring the dagger here to knock Ayer Shirley 
out of the MIAA tournament. That could be it. Anthony Raposa knocks down the first. Now searches and fires the second. Rolls out. What Westport can't do here is give the Panthers a four point play. Holmes fires off the glass. And Westport survives at home from an outstanding comeback in the second half. And the, eventually uh, went, end up winning 63-57. And they will live another day in the state tournament. Great job by the Wildcats tonight pulling through when being down at the half. They made quite a game in the second half. Outstanding job for the Wildcats. And now we're not sure when they're going to play next. And we don't know if it'll be at home. But we do know they'll live to fight another day. Until then, this has been Westport Varsity Boys Basketball. And I'm Jack Keane.